We are back and joining me now is Lauren Glenn Denning. She is the community editor for the Vale Daily and the Vale Trail. Great to have you here and today you're going to give us a preview of what we can expect for this week's new Vale Trail coming out tomorrow. Coming out tomorrow we have a cover story about remarkable women in Eagle County and there's so many so we had to narrow it down to just wow. five. So I'm sure we'll revisit this subject again and, and you know, continue to write about the women, but we chose five women. We've got, you know, businesswomen, politicians, um, uh, let's see, um, an athlete, professional athlete, so a nice group of women and just the, the, the things that they're doing to kind of help out the community. And, oh, yeah, and yeah, that's what's really nice about the Vail Trail is it is such a community-focused paper, yep. and with it being a weekly newspaper magazine, you have more time to really get in-depth and, um, you know, kind of delve into the subject a little bit deeper. Exactly, and that's what we did with these women. We just kind of really found out their background and how they got to be where they are today. You know, people like Beth Slifer, um, mm -hmm. who's just built this, you know, incredible company from the ground up since she got to Vail 24 or 25 yeah. years ago. So it's really it's really cool to, to see where these women came from and, and learn a little bit more about them. Okay, and then you yeah. always do things that kind of take us outside of the valley as well. Colorado Wine Country, who yeah. knew that we had wines right here in the state? Oh, and it's beautiful. It's about two hours drive. You go west. I mean, there's different areas, but I did the Grand Valley tour, and, you know, there's a dozen or so wineries all within a few miles of each wow. other and you can go check them out and walk through the vineyards meet the winemakers see where they you know uh, where the wine fermentation process happens and go into the cellars and things and the wine's delicious so it's just a couple hours away it's like our own little Napa Valley yeah and you know what it's yeah. a great day trip that you can take and you know bring back some great souvenirs you know maybe a, or a housewarming yeah. gift or a gift for someone or just right. have it in your home right and Colorado bottle of wine you know who knew we had our own you know, wine country here. So and with summer here, the hummingbirds have returned, and you're going to tell us how we can attract them to our home. How to attract them, you know, what types of feeders to buy, um, how to keep the bears away, because the yeah. bears tend to like the hummingbird feeders as well. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's a great thing to get your kids involved with, you know, uh, mm -hmm. making them in charge of the, the feeder, yep. having them taken in at night, and having them watching out the window to see these amazing-looking yeah, birds. I mean, some of these birds, they and there's so many of them. There was one woman in, in the story who says that she fills her the nectar. She refills it almost every day. Oh wow! Because you know they're just just they come and and just swarm <laughs> around the feeder and yeah. go crazy for it. And so. a lot of different restaurants, the wildflower in particular. That's where I saw my first hummingbird was oh, right cool. there. You know, I was having lunch and you could see them all yeah, around the flowers. I don't think I've seen one yet. So yeah, I'm you will. Keep You'll my see eye them out this for summer. Them. Yeah. And then you have one more great story we want to mention. This is about a local scientist who could revolutionize joint surgeries. Exactly. Yep. Uh, Steve Lynn, a Daily Reporter. Uh, um, looks into its uh, x-ray kind of x-ray techniques and and sort of what that holds for the future and what it, what it might okay. bring in the medical field and then one of my favorite parts about the veil trail is the look back when you do like you know 20 years ago 30 years ago and you always have that photo yep. and it, you know it's a contest to figure out if someone knows what that and photo is about yeah and people know we get lots of calls so we have to take the first caller usually but uh, it's called Pages from the Past, and we just take uh, our archives from 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago, and you know, we'll pick out interesting tidbits from those issues and, and put them in the papers to remind okay. people of the interesting th things that used to happen here. Okay, so that all comes out tomorrow, but if we want to grab this week's paper, interesting story about the man mass transit issue in the state of Colorado. Yeah, it was, and it's, it's going to be interesting to see if anything will come of that, but hopefully it will, because I think it would be great for the mountain communities. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, Lauren, if we want to catch this online, we can do so as well. Vailtrail.com and Fridays in the news boxes all through the, throughout the valley. Okay, so look forward to that tomorrow. Thanks. And then also you can grab your Vail Daily every single day in newspaper dispensers from East Vail down to Gypsum or go on Vaildaily.com for all the stories and archive stories as well. We'll be right back.